as tonight we start off our hockey season as the Florida Panthers. I am all geared up. As you can see, I'm wearing my jersey, I'm wearing my face mask, and this is this is gonna be cliche. I got the Florida Panthers back too. Oh yeah, I'm all geared up for the season. And yes, that's exactly how we want to start off the season. We started off good. We started 1-0 against Chicago Blackhawks. How did they do it? Let's talk about it. But before we talk about the Florida Panthers, we got to talk about the other Miami teams. And we're going to start off with the loser of the week, the Miami Heat, unfortunately. So, I am not going to wear this mask much longer. As if you could, I don't know if you could tell, this is the Panthers mask. All right, so, you get my point. Okay. All right. Let's get down to business. All right, the first stop is... We have to talk about, unfortunately, the loser of the week, which is a painful Miami Heat week. And the, it's kind of the week that it should not happen, but it happened anyway. As I would give props to anyway. But first, we got to talk about the Miami Heat, and it's very painful to talk about. Tuesday, um, Tuesday we'll start off with the box store. Kelly Olenek, 15 points. Precious Achua, 17 um, Gabe Vincent with 24 points. That's his that's his new career high on his 10th start. Hero with a monster 34 points. He is the king that we all need. And Robinson 26 points as uh, Silva with three, Iguodala seven, and Stros Stras eight. Well, in Philadelphia. Scott, 16. Uh, Danny Green, who beat us in NBA Finals last season. He had 29 points. And, of course, the killer of all killers, uh, Joel Embiid. 45 points. That's... The, he's the key special one. Ben Simmons, 5. Maxi 16. Uh, Dwight Howard, 10. Math Mathias, 3. And Joe, Isaiah Joe, um, 13 points. Okay, now, there was, this is, um, this is the team. When we talk about the team, we're talking about a B team going up against an A team. Miami Heat was a B team. Because Bam on the bio is out, Bradley was out, Miles Leonard was out of injury, and Butler was also out because of COVID. So we were playing the B team here. A couple of A starters, but a B team. So this is so will this be enough to contend against the great Philadelphia 76 or team? It looked like it for the few final few minutes with Tyler Hero stealing the ball and clutching the shot. And um, it just wasn't enough because guess who also goddamn stole the ball? And you guessed it, Joel Embiid. Oh, Embiid stole the ball from Kelly Olenek, and he and he shot, and then we went to overtime. And my cat's joining. See, this is why I love cats. And the game went to overtime. This is our first overtime rodeo, and. And it looked like we were about to, we were going to pull away, but that did not happen. And again, Joel Embiid, a monster. You you got you can't you can't leave Joel Embiid open, and he gets you. Embiid with clutch threes and clutch th layups and free throws and uh, two shots and field goals. And his blocking and his everything. He blocked freaking Kelly Linick. And we lost 137 to 134. So a great matchup. This was a great game. I can't take I can't take credit away. But at the end it was just not enough. This one This one was not even close. The one on Thursday night was not even close. Um Kelly Linick, 12 points. 
Precious Achua, 10. Gabe Vincent, 21 points. Tyler Hero with only 17. Duncan Robinson, 22. Chris Silva, 13. Andre Iguodala, 2. And Marcus Strust, 11. Philadelphia, Harris, 18. Danny Green, 12. Joel Embiid with only 9 points this time, so we held him up better. Uh, ben Simmons, 10. And Maxi with 15. There is one guy on the bench on the Philadelphia who just straight up murder us. And his name is Shake Milton, a bench player. I never even heard of this guy until that day. He is, um, he was drafted a second round pick from, I believe, um, yeah, SMU. And he was a free agent going to Philadelphia from the Mavericks. So he scored 31 points that game. Our defense, what's going on with our defense? And not to mention, our turnovers are still a problem. And our rebounding is still an issue. This guy, this has to change. And you would think this would be changeable against a winnable Detroit Pistons. Um, this is why they're a loser of the week. Um, how do you lose to a team like Detroit Pistons? <sighs> this is a beyond me scenario. We were, we were up 56 to 52 in the first half. And then third quarter, it was, it, third quarter was our downfall. We were outscored 68 points. We were outscored 68 to 43. Or 44. I'm not, not entirely sure. It's one of the 40s. So Blake Griffin, 15. Um, Jeremy Grant, 24, Mason Plumley 9, Wellington, 9, uh, Dallin Wright, uh, 8, Bay, 5, Domo Bio, 6, Isaiah Seward, 10, Derek Rose, um, 23. Everyone by this point should know Derrick Rose. He was an MVP star player when he was with the Bulls. And then from the Bulls, he got traded to uh, New York. And then his career was just, well, <laughs> great player, but he has an injury problem. So I feel bad for Derrick Rose, but hopefully he gets something with Detroit. For Miami, Kelly Linick, three. Um, Casey Akpala, who... Uh, making this start 16 points he, he did pretty good coming back from the COVID protocols <laughs> um bam out of bio he's back with 28 points he did not and he did not cease to impress gave vincent four and duncan robinson 22 silva had three achua had five Iguodala had none. Gordon Dragic is another guy who came back. He has 12 points. Kendrick Nunn also came back. He had seven. And Marcus Strauss with Donut. Um, our defense, once again, our defense just can't guard people like um, Blake Griffin and Jeremy Grant. And you can't forget about Derrick Rose. Even though he hasn't been in his A game the last few years, he can still get you. you and Miami's defense is... Now, we have another opportunity against the Detroit Pistons tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. This is a big problem for the Heat. I said they have an 84% chance of making the playoffs in 2021. And it looks like I am, once again, I am jinxing a top team in Miami. Do not let that happen to me the second time like the Dolphins did. Because this is a bad feeling that does not make me look great. And ultimately, it makes me look ugly. Do not let that happen. Then, we have a winnable series against the Raptors, who not going to Toronto, we're going to Tampa. So, our first regular season visit in Tampa, Florida. So, let's see what happens. We beat them in the preseason. Let's see if we can beat them in a um, regular season. We got them twice, Wednesday and Friday. Then, immediately after that Friday... We come up here, where I live, my local town, 
uh, New York City, where they're going to Brooklyn, where they have a very, 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 very tough challenge against the Brooklyn Nets because of the recent trade that Houston and Brooklyn did to acquire none other than James Harden. Um, yes, he may be a cocky douchebag right now, but he made his debut against uh, on Brooklyn. He They beat Orlando Magic on his first game, his debut game with the Brooklyn Nets, and it's a triple-double. Now, look, the chemistry for Brooklyn is looking spontaneous. Just imagine if Kyrie Irving comes back, the, the super team. New York City hasn't seen a super team in for a, such a long time. And it might be a privilege to New York City folks, especially Brooklyn, right? Brooklyn is a, is a hot zone of sports. Do not let the Islanders uh, make you think that they're not. Do not be fooled. This is a great borough of Brooklyn. Brooklyn is going to make noise even though they're watching at home. Do not, answer, do not underestimate Brooklyn. You can ask me because I live in New York City right now. I live here. So I know. I know. I've been in that environment. They also got them again on Monday afterwards. So we'll see what happens. But Miami Heat has a lot to make up for. And they're going to have a much harder time making to the playoffs than they already are. Um, for the Hurricanes, the women's side, um, it's just not looking good. It's not good. Um, their, their game got postponed against the Seminoles due to COVID. But after a 23-day absence with the Syracuse Orange, they finally came back. And they, 23 days off, no problem. Squash Miami Hurricanes. Um, so, uh, Bandu, 9 points. Harden, 2. Kelly Marshall, 0. Mason, 5. And Banks, 12. Uh, Jackson, 0. Ghani, 13. He, Hudson, 12. For Syracuse, Strandamante, Sermani, 12. Cardoso, 17. Williams, 26. Uh, Mankakia, 10. Lewis, 9. Um, you knew this was going to be a bad situation for the Hurricanes when they're playing against a 24-ranked Syracuse Orange. And if you don't know where Syracuse Orange is, they're upstate New York. So I know that New York team you got to deal with. I watched some of the Syracuse games. They're good. They're a good team. Uh, but they've been dealing with COVID, and they came back. So they're not the loser of the week because of how bad, how poorly Miami Heat has played. Um, the men's team, much, much better. Um, do not let the loss of Boston College fool you because, yes, we lost against a 2-8 and eight Boston College Eagles, but they made up for it big time. Let's talk about it. Miami Hurricanes, 62 and 84 Boston College Eagles. Um, I forgot to tell you the other story for the women's side. It is 99 and 64 uh, Orange. All right, now let's talk about the men's side. Um, Cross, 0. Brooks, 14. Timberlake, 12. Isaiah, 1, 6. And Beverly, 10. Walker, 6. Uh, her and 10, 0. And... Uh, Alani 14. For Boston, Felder 10, Mitchell 12, Heath 25, Langford Jr. 6, and Kelly 27. That duel is spent with something else that game. That defense, there was no chance. They have a better shooters. Miami's defense was not there. The, the, the rebounding was also uh, not there. Uh, the the rebounding has to be better. They have to be a lot better, and the defense especially has to be a lot better. And they made up for it. 
against the number 16 Louisville Cardinals. This was a good win. This was a this is the win I've been looking for. I've been dreading. I've been praying for this kind of win. And they did it. Uh Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky Cardinals. Louisville, a college that is known for great basketball. Um with, with Louisville Cardinals, uh, Withers, 18, Davis, 11, Williamson, 4, Johnson, 5, and Jones, um, Garlic Jones, 25. Um, for Miami, Walker, 2, Brooks, 8, Isaiah Wong, 30 points. This kid is on fire, and he should get drafted after this season. Beverly, 5, and Alanie, 15. The uh, Cross, 16, and Gag, 2. Defense was much better. Um, they have more rebounds than we have, but our defense was much better than the way how we played against Boston College. Isaiah Wong was a freaking monster. No one could stop Isaiah Wong. This is probably the most points that he scored all season. This might be his season high, 30 points. Do not sleep on Isaiah Wong. Isaiah Wong, lights out, baby. And to do that against a Louisville team that is ranked 16, you know, you could have done it with Boston College, but doing it against a ranked team, I'll take it. And finally, I've been waiting to talk about this topic for a while. It is the Florida Panthers, and I have a special guest. Say hi, Holly. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> okay, okay. It's not in the mood. <laughs> hey, look. We're in a video. You're on YouTube, buddy. I know. Say hi. Say hi. No? Okay. Well, in case you can't tell, uh, this is a panther is a cat, a family group of uh, ancestry cats and Holly right here is no exception of a uh, cat I guess it's another reason why I love cats <laughs> are you a panther no you're a tiger okay I'm gonna put you down I'm sorry <laughs> is she cute anyway um finally tonight we have a season opener start because the last two games they were uh, postponed because of Dallas COVID outbreak, and they recently announced a schedule change for the Dallas Stars, and which is going to be in February. So, before we talk, before we get to Dallas, let's get to Chicago first. So Chicago comes to town, and and um, the, basically it's like a normal ice, um, basically like a normal um, hockey game. They got the puck. They were ice skating back and forth, and we got a good battle. Um, now, in the first period, I forgot who it was because I'm, I'm not good with uh, Chicago Blackhawks. I know only know my teams, um, but a Chicago player scored a first goal in the first period to make a one nothing Chicago. However, however, I'm not I'm not a hockey expert by any means but what might have happened is that the call was overturned because it may have looked like that um chicago was offside i don't i'm not a hockey expert by any means but for it look what it looked like in replay i think he was offside which is why the goal, the goal was, uh, the goal was disallowed. So that happened, and um, as a result, nobody scored in the first quarter or period, rather. Twelve seconds in, however, unassisted, his first goal of the season, Aaron Ekblad scored his first goal. Of the of the Panthers season, and five minutes later, guess who scored next for the 
um, for the Panthers. Um, the longest starting streak as of right now, Keith Yandel, who was not supposed to play today, but he managed to get cleared up from COVID anyway. So his starting streak remains alive. So welcome, Keith Yandel. And he was assisted by Jonathan Huberto and Antu Lorostarian. Um, however, um, in... Yes, Holly, you're right. Chicago ended up scoring next. It was Alex the Brick Cats. It was, um, it was from the power play. And it was Patrick King and Duncan Keith with the assist. <laughs> um, to make it 2-1 Florida. Then it was the end of the second period. Third period? Something special. Now, now in the third period, 2 minutes and 53 seconds into the third period, Connor Murphy scored an equalizing goal for the Chicago Blackhawks. And it was assisted by Plus Suter and Duncan Keith. Um, next, just a few seconds later, Atu Lorosterian to take the lead right back for Florida. Carter Vethalke and Anton Stark Stearman, who was drafted. Um, and after that, uh, Patrick Hornquist, assisted by John the Huberdo and Racco Goods. And speaking of John and John the Huberdo, Jonathan Huberdo, he scored a game-winning goal. Not only is it a game-winning goal, but it was also a power play goal. Assisted by Alexander Barkov. This is his jersey right here, Alexander Barkov. Um, and Patrick Hornquist. Jonathan Huberdo, great player. And who I think is the player of the game, my player of the game would be Jonathan Huberdo, no doubt. He has a couple of assists and one goal, and it's a power play goal. Florida Panthers is clearly a team to to look after. And we have the Blackhawks again on Tuesday. Then we have a tough task against the Carolina Hurricanes on Thursday and Saturday. So a lot to look forward to in this Panther season. I am very excited. What do you want me to tell you? I'm very, very excited for this hockey season. Um, I haven't watched the team since August, which is a... The month that nobody really, nobody really talks about because you know, hockey is never in August. But because of the pandemic situation, it was in August and it was in a Toronto bubble. By the way, um, it happened, and uh, and we're gonna see, we're probably gonna see some good things. Go Cats! So, anyway, um, Florida Panthers, something to look forward to. Miami Hurricanes men's team, something to look forward to. Women's team, um, I'm a little bit scared for them. But the team to really needs to bounce back is the Heat. What can I tell you? The Heat, you got to step forward. You got you to step up. Otherwise, we're not going to make it to the playoffs or not make it to the finals. You know, I think not making the playoffs is the worst case scenario. Making the finals as, as tough as already is, but not making the playoffs is just... And after the NBA Finals... Um, after the NBA Finals appearance, it's just it, it, it's just absurd, man. You know, I think that happened in 2015. I could barely remember nowadays, but come on, it, it, that's just it, that's just absurd to me. Step up the plates because we're when, right now we look very weak. So anyway, um, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked this video, please leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, folks, this is Meteor TV signing out. Go Cats! Good night, everybody.